Hello everybody and welcome to a new tutorial. Today I will show you how you can 3D model in the fastest way possible a block of flats in Fusion 360. Moreover, I will explain to you step by step how you can create the entire frame, the doors, the windows and how you can plot the drawings afterwards. So without any other hesitation, let's get started. For every single drawing, the units are very important, so in order to set them correctly, we'll go here to document settings and if it needs, we'll modify them. For today's drawing, we'll work in meters for this time, so we'll go to change active units and we'll select meters. And now we can move on. First of all, we'll create a new component and we will name it block of flats. And now this is our active component as you can see. We will start, of course, through a new sketch. So we will create a sketch, I will select this plan, and I will create a new rectangle. So I press the air letter, or you can press this button. I will go to the center rectangle, and now let's add the dimensions. The first one will be 19.4 meters. And then press the tab key, or zoom out. And the other one, it will be 14.5. You can delete those two diagonals, ok. Now let's create the walls. So I will go to the offset, drag it in with 0.2 meters. So basically this means 20 centimeters. This is the thickness of our wall. And then we'll press ok. I will construct a line from the middle until I reach the other middle as well. Now I will offset it again. So I select the line, I will offset it. I'll move it in the other direction with 1.2 meters, but with minus for this time. This one I can delete it now. Offset it again. Minus 0.2, the thickness of the wall. And now we will start to create the rooms actually. First of all, I'll select this line, offset, but I cannot offset because it is already an offset line. In order to offset it again, I'll go to this constraint of offset. I will delete press the delete button or backspace and now I can offset it. I'll write 2.5 meters and in order to offset it again I will delete again this constraint and I'll write 0.2. I will offset this line as well in this direction with 3.2 meters. Offset again 0.2 or another way how you can create walls in the fastest time possible is by copying the wall. Let me exemplify you. So I select those two lines, M, create copy, and I'll move it back. I want here a distance of 3.6. But I will add also the wall thickness, so minus 0.2. Or actually I can write minus 3.8. It is the same thing and enter. Now I will start to trim, so press the T letter, rather you can select the lines or you can hold the left click and just move the mouse. Now I will select those two lines, M letter, create copy, 1.5, and the wall 1.7 in total. Again now, M letter 1.7, trim, press the T letter or the symbol, so I will delete these, I will delete these, and these as well. And it should look like this. But now also, let's trim the interior. So actually here, It will help us a lot after that. In this way, if I will hold the mouse cursor over it, you see that I can select it and now I can extrude it. So our work it is much much easier. Now let's focus on windows and doors. For today's example, we will keep it simple. We will use just one type of door and two types of windows. So basically a window for the whole apartment and a larger window 
for the balcony here. So we will start to create those rectangles. In order to create it perfectly from the middle with just one operation, I will construct a rectangle. So I press the R letter, center rectangle, starting from the middle, you see that point. I will go in this direction and I will keep all the windows 2 by 1 meter. So I write here 2 and then press enter because here I have 0 0.4 meters. So basically it is a double window and now I will trim it. You can also delete those diagonals if you want. Now our window is exactly in the middle. The same principle we will apply on each wall. So let's get started. Find the middle write 2 and enter and now trim here i will add two windows so it doesn't matter too much the distance exactly and in this way i can start whatever i want with two point rectangle but keep it in mind just to have two okay only two meters trim Press the T letter again. And here we will just extend this line. So press the S key for the sketch shortcuts. And now right here, extend. This feature is also available here in the modify tab, extend. And now I just extended that line. It is the same story actually when it comes to doors. As I told you before, we will use just one type of door. The door will be a classical exterior door with a height of 210 centimeters. So that means 2.1 meters on 90 centimeters. So 0.9 meters. We will start to create some doors as well. For example, here. I'll write 0 0.9. Okay, I'll trim it again here. And I will add also several other doors. 0 0.9. But I will copy those walls and I will make those rooms smaller. I would like to have here 3 meters. So now I have 4.7. So this means I must copy them with 1.7 meters. So let's do it. M. Create copy minus 1.7. Now let's trim. Now let's extend it. I will add here a new door. 0 0.9 this one i will trim it here it will be the same story here i will extend it as well this one i will delete here i will add a new door 0 0.9 0 0.9 And two more doors here. Good, and in order to mirror them, I'll construct a new line from the middle. It doesn't matter the length. Now I will go to the mirror feature. I'll select everything from left to right. Mirror line, this one it will be, OK. Now I can delete it. And inside here, I would like to have some space. So, I select this line, O letter. I bring it in with 1.3. Now I can trim it. This one I will delete it. Offset again with 0.2. And I will construct also the frame door here. It will be a double door for this time, so you can write rather 1.8 meters or 0 0.9 times 2. Trim. And it's done. This one I will hold it here for the first floor. 
Now let's extrude it. Extrude. Now I will select just the walls and nothing more. Oh, here it must be a window, so I'll go back. Two meters, trim, extrude, I press the E key. Okay, and now we will extrude them with 2.5 meters and then we'll press OK. Now let's make the sketch visible again because we need to work more with it. Now we will select just the windows. So extrude only the windows. So actually you can look just on the outside frame. Now we will extrude it with one meter until we reach the window sill. So one meter, join of course. I will go back here. I need to recreate the window. Okay. Two meters, trim. Finish sketch. Okay. And this one as well. Good. Now let's move on. I will make the bodies invisible. And now I will select again, extrude of course. All the windows except the balcony ones. These ones from here. And now I will go to offset, try to imagine, here I have one meter, it will be another meter from gap, and I would like to take the rest, so I will write here two, so basically I will start from two meters, and the distance it will be until I reach the surface, join of course, and then press OK. Now we'll do the same thing with the doors, so we'll go to top, I'll make the bodies invisible, and now I'll select only the doors. And I'll do the same thing. If you remember, I said that we will construct the doors with a height of 2.1 meters. So offset 2.1 until we reach this distance. Join, of course. And this is all about. Now let's focus on doors. I'll create a new component. I'll write here door. I'll create a new sketch. Let's say this one is good. I'll create now the door. 0 0.9 tab 2.1 meters. I'll construct now the frame. Now let's go to the offset. Minus 0 0.05. Trim. Now let's extend it. Okay, now let's extrude it, so finish the sketch, extrude. I'll extrude the frame first of all, symmetric, the whole length, and I'll write 0 0.05. New body, okay. I still need that sketch. Extrude again. Symmetric, whole length, 0 0.02. And join, okay. Now I will construct another sketch over it. So I select the surface, create sketch. I will construct a new circle, so 0 0.05, why not? On a distance of 
one meter. So I press the D letter for sketch dimension and I'll write one meter. Okay, I can move it slightly in the right side. Okay, finish, extrude with 0 0.01. But for this time, it will be another body. So new body, okay. Offset plane, starting from here, minus one meter to be exactly here in the middle. On this plane, right click, create a sketch, because we need to create a new sketch. P from project. And now I will make the body invisible. I'll go to the top. I'll construct a line of 0 0.125 to meters. Yeah, should looking good. Now I will add, why not, a radius in the fillet feature. Finish the sketch. Now I will go to the pipe feature. 0 0.02 is pretty good. Join, of course, with this body. OK. And now let's add some materials. So I press the A letter. From appearance, let's find wood. This one seems good. And I want this handle to be chromatic so chrome yeah and it looks good and to be in the other side as well we'll create another plane a mid plane actually i will select this face the other one so the plane cuts perfectly our door now we'll go to mirror so s key again mirror i will select the handle mirror plane this one it will be Okay, and now let's make this plane invisible. I'll go to block of flats, and our door is ready. To place it correctly here, we will use the align feature, which we can find it here. Press the S key for design shortcuts, align. Select this point. If you cannot find this point, just hold the mouse wheel here. Hold the control or command key and just select this point, the middle one. Now, the same story here. Hold the control key or the command key and place it here. Angle it, capture position and after that OK. And now your door is set. The same thing, we must do it also with the other doors as well. So I select this component, the door, create copy. I'll move it further, align again. I'll select this spot and I'll place it in the middle. Flip it, capture position, OK. And now let's repeat it for a couple more times. And our doors are fine. Let's also add a color to these walls. So A letter again. Let's write, for example, white paint. And in order to copy them, of course, we'll use the mirror feature. S key from mirror. We'll go for components. We'll select all the doors except of the last two. Mirror plane, this one it will be. OK. And now we have the doors. Now let's focus on windows. Except of this one, which is the window for the balcony, we will construct just a simple one. New component, window, create sketch. This dimension it will be 1, tab, 2 meters. Let's construct the frame. 
minus 0 0.05 extrude symmetric distance 0 0.05 okay let's make the sketch visible again extrude and now for the glass 0 0.02 new body for this time I'll make the sketch invisible, now I'll go again to the materials, I'll pick Mahoney again, and here I'll write glass. Frosted medium, okay. Perfect. Actually here, I'll write normal window. And now, let's move this window here. So, S align. angle capture position okay and now we must do the same story with the windows so let's do it okay and for the last window here we will create a new component new component and we'll name it balcony window we'll start through a new sketch we'll construct it here why not i will use the project feature again so i will press the p letter i will select this surface and i'll press enter now i have these points and it will be really really easy to construct it so from here to here, I construct the rectangle, extrude, now offset, I will go in the interior with 0 0.05, and now I will extrude it. We'll go to symmetric, whole length, 0 0.05, make the sketch visible, extrude, 0 0.02 and will be another body and frosted glass good align now capture and now let's mirror everything except of those three windows and i will show you really quick why so s mirror i selected all the windows except of those mirror plane this one it will be okay and now because we have everything Let's duplicate this block because as you can see here are only two apartments so we need to have four. I will select this body, body number one, and I will copy it. But first I go to the measure, I select this face, the other one, so I have 19.2. So move body, I select this body, create copy, minus 19.2. And now, with one single move, I will combine them and also I will cover those three holes. So, extrude, this one, this one, and the third one. I will write one, of course it will be join. And from body one and body 16, I will have body one. So, one single body. And now, you guessed it, I will mirror everything. But first, I need a new plan. So, I will go to the mid plane this face and this one okay this key mirror And now everything is filled up. 
Also, let's go back because I need to select also those two doors. Okay, and now let's create a new component. I will name it just doors. And I will pick here all the doors that I have, except of those two from the entrance. And why not to be even more organized? New component, outside doors. And now let's do the same thing with the windows. But here it will be much, much simple. Windows. Now let's create the foundation. We'll go here, create sketch. I will use the project feature just for those two points. So this one and the diagonal. Okay, rectangle from here to here. Now I will extrude everything. with 0 0.4 meters new body, OK and now I'll create the stairs so I'll create a new component OK, I'll start through a new sketch and I'll construct a rectangle first of all with the dimensions 0 0.3 tab 1 meter here, I'll construct an extra rectangle with 0 0.22 and 0 0.3. I will copy it. So, M letter, create copy, point to point, from here to here. I will select both, M, point to point, create copy, this one will be the origin, and I will add one more. I will select it create copy from here to here okay I'll construct another line I'll go now to mirror I'll select everything from left to right this one it will be the mirror line now I can delete it I'll select everything here move point to point okay Finish sketch, and now let's extrude for three times. First one. Symmetric, whole length, 2.4 meters. I'll make the sketch visible. Extrude. Until we reach this distance. And extrude again. until here and press OK. Now let's put them back. So align, select the middle point here and place it right here in the middle. Flip it, capture position and let's copy it. Stairs, create copy, align And place it here. Good, everything is fine now. Now let's create the floor here over it. So select the surface, right click, create sketch, project, select this point and the other one. And for this time, we'll select also the stairs. Create a rectangle for both. And now I will create another rectangle. 
And now let's extrude. And let's select all the rooms. And I will add the thickness 0 0.2 meters. So 20 centimeters actually. It will be of course a new body. And it is good. Now let's go to the body number one. Let's copy it in order to create the first floor. We'll write 0 0.5 plus the floor thickness. So 0 0.2. So in total 2.7. And now let's remove those two entrances. So we'll go up create sketch again project feature I'll create a new rectangle here and here here as well and now I will extrude everything so these two first of all I will cut them I'll make the sketch visible again, extrude, in order to close the gap. In order to join, it will be a new body. And now I can go to the combine feature, I will select the walls and then I'll press OK and look like that. And now to be even much easier, I will create from the body number 19. I'll create a new sketch, create components from sketch. This one I'll place it also here. And now guess what I will do? I'll press the M key, I'll select components here, I'll select doors and windows, I will create copy, I will go up with 2.7, and here it is. Now I have the first floor already. This component I will name it floor. I'll put inside also the stairs, also the doors and windows and I have everything here so now I'll go to the rectangular pattern I'll select components I selected the floor axis I can select every edge that I want almost I'll go up pay attention here to be spacing and I will write minus 2.7 to be exactly here so I want to block with 10 floors, so I'll write here instead of 3, I'll write 10. And I'll press OK. And look at that. Now, in order to cover it, I'll copy the foundation. So, I'll go to move, I'll select bodies, I'll select this body, point to point, create copy, origin point, this one it will be, and I'll place it here. And look at that. Our building is done. Moreover, let's inspect it. I'll go to the section analyzes and look at that. Everything is filled up, everything is prepared. Also the stairs here, you can watch them. Also in the back as well. And when you arrive at this step, just save it. Or press at this button. And let's say you need to have some drawings. I'll go here to design, drawing, from design, with millimeters, A3 format, OK. And I will give you a short example. I'll place it here, and then I press OK. Let's say I need a scale 1, Two points, 150. Good. Let's say I want to measure it. So I'll press the D for sketch dimension or dimension in this case. I select this point. The next one. Okay. And look at that. You can double click on it. You can go to the primary units and change it into meters. And if you want to have a straight line of dimensions, you can go here to the dimensions, chain dimensions, and you can add more. Or 
or you can pick up a point and the other one and you can also convert it into meters or let's say you want this view and you want the section of the building so let's add here a new page i'll go to the base view again i will select the top view for this time i want to be the same scale 1 to 150 okay and in order to be visible inside i'll go here i'll go to bodies and i will make the body number two invisible and now i can go again to the dimension And in the end, after you complete everything here, you will export it. Export PDF, open PDF, and you find it here. Moreover, in this PDF, as you can see, we have two pages, so the first one and the second one. And now your job will be much, much easier. In this way, you can create an entire building in Fusion 360. I hope this video helped you learn more about the program and don't hesitate to collaborate with me. Any service is just a click away, and if you have questions, leave them in the comments below. As always, don't forget to like, share, subscribe, and see you next time.